Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my online class today where we are going to be making these adorable, uh, it's, a, it's a set of Halloween card and uh, little treat boxes and they're so stinking cute but also really easy to make. So easy to make you're probably going to want to make these little treats like you're going to be, it's one of those things that you're just going to get addicted to because when they're easy and they're so adorable like this, you could make tons of these for the family, for the kids, all the kids that come to the door. Or maybe you're, maybe you're chucking them on the lawn this year while the kids are sitting on the lawn. You're driving by and chucking them on the lawn. <laughs> you never know what COVID's going to bring, right? But hey, we can be creative, right? We can be creative with Halloween. We can be creative with how we give out our candy. So let's have some fun with it. This is what we're going to be making today. I'll start with our card. This is also my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's blog hop. And what that means is not only do you have these really cute Halloween ideas, but you also, if you click over to the resource page of my blog, that you can get to either at the link in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com, you will be able to take the, the uh, blog hop tour and get inspired by some of the most amazing crafters that I absolutely love. And they have some awesome, awesome projects. In fact, we are a little bit late with this video. Our blog hop started on Saturday and my, um, if you follow my blog, my, my posting went up, the free PDF for this went up on Saturday. Um, but I had to postpone the video to this morning because, or this afternoon, um, it was Friday was my birthday and I had a surprise visit from my family, my entire family from out of town. And it was really awesome and very special birthday. But at the same time, I had a lot of people staying at the house that <laughs> I didn't know we're coming. And so basically I just, I wasn't able to get the video done um, over the weekend, but I did have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Um, that's a lot. So what I'm going to start with, normally I'm going to start with the stamping. I did pre-cut our two um, greetings on here. My original, I did um, stitched circles in the middle here, the stitch, stitch circles, stitched circles dies. And um, for this one, I used layering circles. This is the die set here, and I should mention everything that I'm using here is available in my online store, and I have quick links on the resource page, as well as a free PDF there that has all of the measurements um, for everything that we are creating today. So you can pop over there and download that either while we're, while we're going or uh, following the video so that you have all the, the uh, dimensions and everything you need to get started and make the project with us. So I pre-cut those. That's the second smallest layering circle. This one came from the Little Treats uh, bundle. This is in the Stampin' Up! Holiday catalog. It's a Little Treats stamp set. So cute, right? And this makes um, the Little Treats um, box, which we'll, do, we'll I'll make that second. And then um, this is what I used for today's, what I'm going to use on today's um, little tag. And I also used on these the uh, Hallow's Magic bundle. So the stamp set, and I might even shake this up. I did a spider on the first one, and I was, sometimes people aren't over the moon about spiders. So I thought, oh, let's shake it up and do a bat on this one. Why not, right? So we'll go ahead and stamp our words in the circle there. with I'm just using Memento Black today, but any black will do. And instead of instead of spider, what do you, get, you guys say? Bat? Oh, let's do it. Why not? Why not? They don't all have to be the same. I like to play around. <laughs> Let's see what we can come up with. All right, so I've got a scrap piece of paper here. We'll just stamp our baddies down. And now we'll, we'll finish with our uh, die cut work. And so I have here the, um, actually I have the brand new uh, Stampin' Up. I'll put this aside because we did already die cut those. The brand new Stampin' Up uh, die cut machine. It's a Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. So we'll do a little playing with that today, and I'm actually going to uh, zoom out just a hair so you can see what's happening. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do for this card, we'll cut out our bats. I have a magnetic plate on here, so what I'm going to what I'm going to use here for cutting is the platform that comes with it and um, the thin die adapter, and then the magnetic plate here. And then that will, when I put the die on here, because the die set, because um, the die set and the, the stamp set were made to go together. When I put the die on here, it fits perfectly. 
because they were made to go together, which I absolutely love. You could use this die with just plain black cardstock too, even without the the pretty stamp in it. You could go that kind of gives it a little bit of versatility. You can do some different things with that. And then just one cutting pad on top, and we will crank that through. Yeah, I love the new machine too. Colleen says she loves it. It's just it's so smooth. Everything just kind of goes. So we've got our cut our cut bats. We'll play with those in a minute. But first, let's cut a window into the card. So I'm going to take some Blackberry Bliss cardstock here, and I am going to cut the window with this is the um, die set that goes with the Hallow's Night Magic stamp set. It's uh, Halloween Magic, and it's got the bats that we just used, but it's also got these two really fun label um, dies. So you can make labels. Also, there's a stamp that matches them too. See, the stamp is made, can you see that? It's made to go with the labels. All right, so I'm gonna cut this right out of the middle of our Blackberry Bliss. So I'm gonna lay that on there and cut that out. So I'll save this tag for another project. What I really wanted there was the window. So once we've created the window, I'm going to change up our um, our lineup here. And instead of the magnetic platform and the thin die adapter, I'm going to use a, this is cobwebs, a cobweb folder here, 3D embossing folder, super fun, makes really nice cobweb textures. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I really have a lot of fun with the Halloween um, projects. Somebody's getting this for a birthday card this month. So I'm going to place that right inside. And we are going to be using, oops, let's see. Just in case, uh, in case you have this new machine and you're not exactly sure what order that you want to put them on, when you're doing a 3D folder, they have um, right here on the platform, it has what to do in the sandwich. So this is, everything's numbered nicely. This is number one. And then it's number two. Well, we'll and then we'll put our um, sandwich on there. And then there's a special plate that this actually comes with the machine for our 3D folders. And just place that in and crank it through. And this is, the, this is the fun part. And hey, we're doing a little bit of magic today, right? Because it's a Halloween episode. We have that really cool embossed texture on here. And now we are just ready to roll, rock and roll right in and start assembling our card. I told you these were going to be quick and easy, right? I don't know about you, but certain things, like if you're doing, you know, treats for the kids and stuff, uh, quick and easy is definitely something that, because you want to make a lot of them, right? And so they're really involved kind of halfway through you're thinking to yourself oh my gosh why, why did I go with such an involved design so simple definitely when you're making a lot of things like Christmas cards too or holiday cards you want to keep them if you're if you have a hundred card list that you're making for you want to keep them kind of on the side where they don't have as many they still wow still awesome but just maybe not as many um, layers to it or not layers but um, steps to it so this one's nice and easy I'm taking this is a whisper white craft ink pad and I'm literally just rubbing it over the top. You see how that just made the cobweb pop? Not only did it make it pop, it really looks like it's a cobweb that, on there, right? It's got like, it's, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. All right, so now we've got some assembly. We'll pull our bats in here and our little tag. And then I'm gonna use something really cool. This is in the, um, this stuff is in the uh, holiday catalog and it's under, let's see if you can see that there. Can you see it now? It's under the um, Halloween bundle that actually the Hallow's Night um, suite that we're using right now. But this can be used for so much more than just Halloween. I mean, this, this is, um, it's mesh, it's metallic mesh. You could, I see uh, a lot of use for this on holiday cards as well. So really goes way beyond just the Halloween holiday. So we'll cut some of that. I'm just going to pull out my silicone mat for a second. Now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to kind of stretch out this mesh. 
can make it a lot wider when you do this. And the other alternative to this is you can do two sections of mesh to, to have it fit over there, but I think when you stretch it, it fits perfectly. And I'm just gonna take some stamp and seal. And I'm putting it right on the border of the in, this is the back, right? So just along the border so that this is gonna stick to it. So we'll pull, 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 so it's nice and wide. I found that it's good if you have the adhesive all the way around so there's no spot where it can bounce and you get a little hole. Unless that's the look we're going for. Okay, so let me just trim off anything that's going to show. We don't want anything overhanging there. All right. Now you can see the, the mesh on there. Isn't that super cool? <laughs> very, very cute. All right. So... I've pre-cut, we've got our card base here. Again, the measurements are all on that free PDF that you'll find um, on the resource page simply by clicking on the link that's in this video's description or going to stampwithtammy.com. We've got some copper foil. Now, if I, if I was making this myself, I'm, I am making it myself, I get it, but I'm making it live right now when I pre-cut some of these pieces. But if I hadn't, I would have cut this piece out of the center of this layer and maybe even some other things out of the copper, just to, just so I wouldn't have any waste in there because, you know, sometimes you see the waste and you're like, oh, no. All right, so I am missing a little piece of white. So let's cut one of those up. Oh. Happen to have some handy. White cardstock is something I always have around, so we'll just whip out that little paper trimmer and cut some up. I have a really cool um, prize patrol because this is my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's blog hop. The, the, our Stampin' Group actually has its own um, giveaway today. So I actually have two different types of giveaways. I'll tell you about it in just a second. Stay tuned for the good stuff. All right, so I'm going to place this kind of right in the middle. Make sure I cut that right. All right so just a little bit of... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tina says spooktacular and Tracy says it's beautiful. Thanks you guys. Now I am going to take some of these cool black dimensionals because they're going to blend right in, right? And they're going to make this window pop. Because we have the, the, the project itself is dark and you're not going to see them on there. So we've got our little spider web in the middle. We have our little window so it pops up and it really makes it, gives it that, that little extra, extra pop and pow. And I'm gonna, I, I stamp the words open if you dare, but you could also put happy birthday, you know. Um, open if you dare came from the, the Hallow's Night Magic stamp set, but the little treats stamp set has a few little sayings here that would be really cute in there if you wanted to put something different. There's a happy Halloween in there and some other stuff. So between the two of these, they really made a made a good uh, pair together. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Again, I'm going to use some of these black dimensional loops. And then let's play with our bats. So my original had a spider on it. The bats, let's see. What do you think? Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Ah, I like it better down here. Now the bat, maybe I might put a white dimensional on the back of her because she's, got, she's cut from the white cardstock. But you know what? If you, all you had was black available, then I would use that too because going to blend with the dark the dark base. Okay, so put one up here. Looks like they're flying right up the side. And there is card number one, and here's the original with the spider on it. 
Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the spider or do you like the, the bats? I'm torn, actually. I, I, I really love the spider one. But I know some people have a, a spider thing. <laughs> so I thought, well, let's do something different. But now that I'm looking at the bats, they're really stinking cute too, right? Okay, so now we want to make some matching treats, right? So you're going to give these to the grands or to your, you know, your family. Some cute little, you know, I didn't do that I wanted to do before we end here on the card. Let's put some of these uh, pearls on there. These are also in that same Halloween suite. Again, though, I've been using these pearls on Christmas cards too. They don't have to go. They don't have to be Halloween. They're iridescent pearls and they're really cool. There we go. Card number one, so cute. Okay, so let's mix up bats. <laughs> Everybody, oh, bats definitely. Bats are definitely winning. <laughs> oh, and a few and a few ties. We got a few ties and bats. Lots of bats. Okay, so I promised I would tell you about Prize Patrol. So we're gonna jump into this project. But first, let me tell you what you can win today because we have a free, this is a free online class. And whenever I do live uh, stream classes, I always have something fun to give away for you guys. Just as a little thank you for coming and watching, enjoying the fun. And just to let you know how much I appreciate you. Because it's the Stampa Demonstrator Group blog hop today, that means there's two prizes, two different ways to enter. They're both free. The first one um, is a live prize, and I'll draw that immediately following this video. Now, I'm broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time. So it doesn't matter which of my channels that you leave a comment on the video. Um, but I will draw the winner from uh, the, the live comments, um, and you will be eligible to win a Merry Hello stamp set. But don't fret, if you're not watching live or if you don't win the Merry Hello Stamp Set Live, we have a second prize, and this one is a blog comment entry. So you'll want to go over to my resource page, link in the video's description, or go to stampwithtammy.com and click on video gallery. You'll see all of my videos there as well. And leave a comment on this uh, resource page for this project. And there you'll also find that free PDF I was talking about. We're giving away the Boho Indigo Medley, which is a $70 medley. So that's a pretty awesome gift right there. And I have lots of ideas for that on my blog as well. We've done some videos with that too. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you joining in the fun all the time. And, and I really love being able to give back and do some fun things like this. All right. So back to the fun. We're not done. <laughs> Definitely not done the stamping fun. All right, so I've got little treat boxes here. I've done them in different colors. Um, the, I've done the, the Blackberry Bliss that we did the card with. We did I did some black. And then I did one um, with the Granny Apple Green. And then I've taken some of the bats here. There's a little bat, um, there's a little bat die that cuts out three little bats. So I put them on here, but this guy right here has a spider and the spider is from the little treats, which we're gonna use this box from right now. And the words are a mix of the two stamp sets. So I have all that listed on my blog and on the um, on that free PDF. And this is the bat that we just cut out. All right, so we'll make one of these boxes. They're all made the same way. Let's go ahead and start with some Blackberry Bliss. I wasn't sure which color I like the best. Like, I, I don't know, it's a, it's a tie between the Blackberry Bliss and the Granny Apple Green. Something about that green is just really fun, right? So, Bring that die cut machine back in here. And I'm going to go back to our original sandwich. And if talking about sandwiches is making you hungry, it might be time to eat lunch. <laughs> All right, so we want the, the number one, the number two, and then I'm using a magnetic platform. So we're going to put that, and that's number five on there. And then we'll put our cardstock down. And because it's magnetic, just like it in the, the um, just like with the card, it's going to hold this down where we want it. Although right now we just want, it doesn't matter exactly where it is on as long as it's completely got cardstock on all the pieces that we want. It's got cardstock on one die on top. Oh, we got some love with the grainy apple green. Peggy, uh, Penny says she needs to get busy. Yeah. Absolutely, Halloween's just around the corner. We got so much fun Halloween stuff this year. I was really excited to see all of that. So that gives us our box die. Now, one second, we'll put that together in just a second. 
But before we put it together, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and burnish these um, score lines. Actually, just I'll just reinforce the score lines um, before we do the next step. So I think that might help a little bit. So we're gonna um, change up our our sandwich here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to just the original platform. I'm taking off the thin die adapter and the magnetic plate. And then I'm bringing our fun little spider web 3D folder back in. It's this guy that we used on the card. Slide that right inside there. Now, I kind of put it at an angle. I really, the most important thing is to get the, the two long pieces textured. If you're missing a little bit on these end tabs, it's okay because they're not really gonna show. So go ahead and put that in there just like so. And then we're gonna put that special plate on top just for the 3D um, plates. And I believe the special plate also has a number, right? Yes, it's number four. That comes with the, uh, the die cut machine. So when we open it, our box, and it doesn't matter what side because both sides are the same until you actually assemble it. Um, you know, like the top and the bottom, there's they're kind of the same until you start assembling. So now we've textured our cute little treat box. Let's go ahead and take some of that whisper white. Now, if I had done the granny apple green, you could do the whisper white on it as well, like like I rubbed on the top of the card. But I instead of doing this with the whisper white, I went with black. The black. Um, I rubbed the black ink pad on it instead of the white because it really stood out. The white kind of just washed away on that grainy apple green, but the black really popped. So now we've just really made it a spooky spider web, right? Now these boxes are super cute, right? So it's just that it's the little treat die and then it, it cuts it out. This is how simple they are. They don't even need adhesive. How flipping cool is that? There's little tabs here. I'll just bring it in a little bit so you guys can see what's happening. There's a little, little tab and it just goes in a little slot like so. That's it. No adhesive needed. And there we've got our little treat box. You can put your little candy on the inside. And then when we put these up, I'm going to take some of that metallic mesh, cut a little strand of that off. And we'll pull that right through. So that will tie it together. And it's resealable, so you know the kids eat the candy out of it. You want to keep refilling it for them? You can keep adding candy. <laughs> or they can save the box. After I did that, I took and pulled the top, kind of like I did with the um, the mesh that I put on the window on the card. Just kind of pulled it so it was kind of neat looking, and then I cut a little bit off. It's a super cool die. And I and this die, I know I'm, I'm using it right now for a Halloween project, but this die is good for for all occasions. And the stamp set that goes along with it, the little treat stamp set that, that you can get the bundle together or separately, you don't have to buy them together, but it really does have all occasions in it, right? So we've got the Santa hat, wedding ring, so you can do anniversary or somebody getting married, you've got Christmas in there and holidays, you've got Halloween, birthday, pretty much you can do, you know, so many things. So you can make these little boxes, party favors, wedding favors, you know, all, all, t all types of different uh, occasions on there, pretty much all in this one little um, bundle. So um, I went ahead and just pre-did the tag. You would do that exactly like we did on the original, on the card that we just did. And I'm, again, going to place some dimensionals on the back here. Now on each of um, each of these boxes, I, I cut a little different thing out. I cut, you know, the, the bat we used on the card here, the little bats here, little bats, and then a, a spider here, and the spider I kind of also rubbed the white over. I, I did him in black and rubbed the white over. So for this one, I like the bats. I thought the bats were cute, so 
I cut those three bats out of the um, the die for the um, it matches the All Hallows Night stamp set. This is from the Halloween Magic. It's this die right here. It cuts these three these three little bats as well as the big bats that we did on the card. And then I'm gonna get some mini black dimensionals. These are the little baby ones because you will not see these, but these the, the bats are pretty small. So a full size dimensional you would want to cut in half. And then I went ahead and maybe I'll put one right here, but the other two I had flying right up the mesh. So it just made it kind of fun on the top there that they were flying right up the mesh. Isn't that adorable? And then so we have our, our cards here. It matches our cards. So you got a, a cute little set there that you can use. That you can make. It's easy to make and, and fun. Lots of cute things to with these two bundles. And I have all the information on this on my stamp of uh, blog on the resource page here. And if you are absolutely loving having fun with the crafts. I know that we're talking about Halloween, but um, I'm already getting ready for Christmas, right? Because it takes time to make stuff. You got to order it, then you want to, you know, have some time to make it. And you don't want to be rushing at the last minute in December, right? So I already started with the beautiful Dove of Hope. I've made a card kit out of it. And you can get more information on purchasing this on my stampatammy.com blog. It is only available until October 1st. Um, so it's a really beautiful kit. It's got some really fun... I made the angel wings out of it and did some fun little things with the, the dove. And we've got some in, you know, cool Z fold cards. So it's a, it's a really cool kit and it comes with a dove of hope bundle. So you can check that out on my stampatammy.com blog too. And you absolutely want to go check out my, um, go check out the resource page because there you'll be able to uh, take the blog hop, see all of the awesome projects there that my team has been working on getting ready for this uh this day this blog hop as well as enter our giveaway for our uh, boho indigo bundle so you can get all that in the resource page there and last but not least thanks for joining me if you are new be sure to subscribe i enjoy having you guys here it's been a lot of fun i will be back this week with some more fun stamping um, I'm not sure that today, this week is going to be a little bit off of my normal schedule, which is normally Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, I might be coming on uh, a little bit earlier than Friday this week, but uh, I will uh, try to give a heads up just to let you know when to expect it. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today.